Hi guys, this is Courtney. Okay, um, let's have some fun with the images. Now, uh, here we are on the site, we're continuing to build uh, the site, and right now we're working on our free uh, video section. And we want to put some images in. Now, why are images important? Uh, images are important for the same reason that uh, video is important. Well, we're visual people. We like to watch. We like to, um, this is how we learn, by watching and doing. And images, of course, help guide people throughout the site, gives them uh, something to look at, as, as well as the way that we put the site together with highlights and putting images on the right, images on the left. We want to keep people in, you know, once again engaged on our site, going through the site, and images help do that. And they're reference points as well. It gives people an idea of the content and what we're talking about within a particular area. And so we want to do that as well because, and also uh, images help us with optimization because we assign descriptions and keywords to the image names and they get picked up as well. So we definitely want to use images within our site um, because no one likes just a plain Jane site. Now, once again, we're going to go in here and we need to do an image for our free WordPress training uh, videos, uh, our free section. And we're going to put an image in here directly to the left of this. And I'm also going to do an image um, because down here we're going to start putting our videos in. And I'm going to make create an image for... Um, it's uh, like a, I guess you can call it a maybe a cover page type of image because each video that I put in here um, is going to have the image in it, an image on it, and not just uh, uh, a portion within the video. And I, I guess just to kind of give you an example of what I'm talking about here, when you go over to YouTube and you look at videos, they all you can kind of see what the is in the videos. Well, I'm going to create an image, uh, still image, so that all of the videos um, are consistent and uniform. And I'll probably go ahead and name each one. So you'll see what I mean after we get started on this. So let's go ahead now and um, figure out what we want to do for an image here. Now, of course, um, I um, gave you, and within the course, there are uh, places that I'm going to give you where you can go get free images and here's one of them so we'll give you this right up front this is a free um, an area where you can go and get uh, uh, photos to use and these are all free royalty free stock photos and as you can see uh, no strings no hoops no just free photos and there this is one of my favorite sites and there are tons of photos in here and you'll be able to find something that's um, pretty much uh, going to match whatever it is you're doing in one way or another you'll be able to find an image in here now we could go in here and we could start looking through here and figure out um, find something that we could use um, and deal with it and crop it and, and make it fit but what I'm going to do is um, go ahead and show you a program we're going to use earth and view for this and why go out and, and mess around trying to do something from scratch and we have something we can already work with and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and open up earth and view and I'm going to show you just one of the one of the things you can do with earth and view and uh, we use this throughout the course and uh, and this is just another little facet of it that we can use if you go in here to options and let's go down to screen capture we're going to go ahead and capture some some image here that we've already created uh, make sure this is set to number five. Make sure this is set to show captured image in the window and your hotkeys control F11. You hit your start button and you get these crosshairs. Now to can keep consistent with what we're doing, I'm going to go ahead and just pull this over here and I'm going to go here and actually uh, left click and drag over and I'm going to take all of this area here that says uh, WordPress it's, it's this word WordPress and then I'm just gonna let go and left click and what it does is actually captures that portion of the of that uh, of that page 
and you can see we still have the line under here but this is a quick way to go ahead and capture an image that um, you may want to use now I don't like that line over here so I'm gonna go up here um, actually I'm going to just put my mouse right there I'm gonna drag over here and just kind of get it to where I want it and then I'm going to go over here to edit and then I'm going to crop that selection and by doing that I I just cropped everything that's in there so now I have exactly what I want let's go in here to, to the um, image and go to resize and resample and that's 400 wide by 198 uh, for this I don't want it quite that wide I kind of like to have it around let's just go to 222 and you'll see that this changes as well make sure to preserve your aspect ratio is checked there to keep that and so now we've kind of taken that down to a nice manageable size um, now I want to name this I want to give this a keyword name uh, because that's going to get picked up when it, uh, as the site gets indexed and we put that in there so um, I've already I'm going to go over here to our pages and then I'm going to go over to free video section because I've already come up with a name that I want and actually I'm just going to take this portion of it because I'm going to use the other portion for something else so it's WordPress tutorial videos free training section that's exactly um, what we want to do with it there this is already on the clipboard so we go back to our image we go to file save as and then I'm just gonna paste that name in there now down here you'll see it's set as a GIF we do not want it as a GIF I'm just going to make this a JPEG so I'm gonna go down here and find JPEG okay and for now let's go ahead and go back to our uh, our site we're going to go back to our pages and I'm going to save this for now within our pages section okay so now we have we have our image let's go over here to the site let's go down to our pages we're going to go over here to our WordPress free tutorial for beginners and this is where we want to put it put our image in we click just to the left of where we want to put it we go here to upload because we're going to upload the media we're going to select the file and remember where we put it we put it over here into our if I can find it here uh, to our WordPress site and I think we had it in pages and there it is so let's click on it let's hit open it's going to now upload we have our keyword name in there we want to keep this highlighted because we want it to be clickable full size we're going to put it to the left and insert into post and now as you can see we have our image and that looks as you can see a little short there for our purposes and if we take it and let's open it up a little bit just to try to you know get it because uh, I like to have all of my text uh, properly aligned and you can see right there that pulls that over kind of makes it big I don't think I'm gonna like that the reason being uh, because it looks like it's gonna be a little um, a little um, faded so let's let's see how that looks though let's go preview that and see if we like it that's decent and I'm pro I'll probably go back and work with that a little bit but just for the purpose of this for now I'm just showing you how to put that in um, one thing we can do as well if we go in here and click on the image and go into edit the image we can always uh, go in here and pull it down and resize it using using these as well and you'll see if we make it you know 
even smaller there and update that. It puts it back to its original size. Another thing we can do is uh, we can always go down here and bring it down by hitting a, a return. And we can go down here and pull it down by hitting a return and then go back again, look at it and see see you know how we like it. I actually like that a little bit better. It keeps its original shape and size which is more clear and then we have a little text and then it all looks even. So I think I'll use that. One thing I don't like about this also is using this no sidebar. So I'm going to go ahead and put that back to the default sidebar. And that way when I go we go look at it. Let's go ahead and just update that and make it take and then we're going to go back over here and take another look at it and that's a lot better so I think we're going to keep it just like that okay so that's how we can go in as, as I hover over you can see is keyword named now the next thing we want to do yeah I like that is uh, we're going to go down here and, and um, because I like I said I want to create a still image that's going to be about 360 by 480 because that's the size that we're going to use for our uh, videos as we put in here so I'm going to create basically like I said a kind of like I call it a cover page um, now to do that what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to use uh, our GIMP mm -hmm.